And now at 6, the surrender and the arrest in connection with the deadly restaurant shooting as we learn much more about the suspect and what police say may have set him off. It's possible the suspect's girlfriend was the instigator. Police say it was her phone call from the Chili's where she worked that led a man with a troubled past to go there yesterday and murder a father of eight. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Miami Gardens with our top story at 6. Joan. And as the story has unfolded, it has taken a lot of twists and turns. Right now, some of the employees who witnessed what happened yesterday are inside the restaurant talking to Miami Gardens detectives, and the man, the accused shooter, is in jail. A day after Monday's deadly shooting, stunned Chili's workers returned to their Miami Gardens restaurant. Other Chili's employees showed up in solidarity. We came from another restaurant to, to help support. And Chili's cook Lester Reed died after being shot in the kitchen area Monday afternoon. Police have charged Arturo Exum with first degree murder. Exum was booked into the county jail after turning himself into Miami Gardens Police Tuesday. Police say Exum stormed into the restaurant Monday and shot the victim. They say Exum's girlfriend, a chilly server, called him to complain about a fight she had with Reed. Exum was on probation for once threatening to kill his girlfriend. The two were together despite their violent past. Yeah, excellent worker. Fellow cook William Webb says Reed, who moved to South Florida from New Jersey, worked hard to support a large family. Right. Man. Got, got kids, eight kids. Eight kids. Eight kids. Is his family here with him? No. On Facebook, Reed's friends posted emotional messages. My heart is broken right now, wrote one. His memory will live on in all of us, said another. The restaurant remains closed as detectives interview witnesses and corporate managers try to calm jangled nerves. They're just dealing with a crisis right now. Everybody's just trying to get everything along with the store, open up and everything. Corporate managers are inside right now, as we said, talking to employees along with police. We understand there's going to be a vigil held in two hours from now, 8 o'clock, outside this Chili's for the man who died, Lester Reed. Police say at this point no charges have been filed against his girlfriend, the server who allegedly called him to complain about Reed. In Miami Gardens tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. Joan, thank you.